Hi, my name is Lauren, and in this video I'm going to talk about aminoglycosides. This is the first video in my series on antibiotics, so I'm going to talk a little bit about each antibiotic class, uh, the drugs in that class, and some main side effects, and how to remember them. So aminoglycosides include gentamicin, tobramycin, streptomycin, neomycin, and amicacin. So in order to remember this, I created a story about Amy. So Amy, for aminoglycosides, goes to the bathroom. And while she's in the bathroom trying to pee, there's all these mice scurrying around her feet. It's not a really good bathroom. It's kind of sketchy. And all these mice, mycin, are scurrying around her feet. Mycin, mycin, mycin. So you can remember that most of the drugs that have mycin in it uh, have to do with aminoglycosides. So Amy goes to the bathroom, there's mice scurrying around her feet, and these mice are squeaking. Squeaking. And uh, that is really ototoxic to you. It's really irritating to your ears. So aminoglycosides, one side effect is ototoxicity, so hearing problems. Um, all the squeaking and these mice running around your feet um, is really interfering with your ability to go to the bathroom and pee. So these are nephrotoxic. Um, in addition, they cause neuromuscular blockade and weakness. And so you can imagine sitting in the bathroom um, with mice running around your feet is really irritating. It makes you really weak. Um, and that is a side effect of aminoglycosides. And so what that means is uh, this increases neuromuscular blockade, especially when given with other drugs that also increase neuromuscular blockade, like uh, paralytics, which are given in the ICU or during anesthesia. Um, because aminoglycosides actually decrease the acetylcholine release from your presynaptic neuron. Uh, decrease acetylcholine available to that postsynaptic cell like muscle cell. Um, so avoid it with anesthesia, avoid it with uh, things like myosin and gravis. Where you need all the acetylcholine you can get because you already have decreased neuromuscular junctions. Um, so if you're feeling really weak, Amy's in the bathroom feeling really weak, um, she might need to step outside and have a glass of milk to recover. So some protein, a cool drink, uh, milk, and that is because calcium is the antidote or something that can be used to treat um, weakness associated with immunoglycosides. One more side effect here is rash. And so I put this with the mice. The mice are running around her feet and they might cause a uh, itchy rash where they crawl around her feet. So that's aminoglycosides. Amy for aminoglycosides is going to the bathroom where she sees all these mice, mice and mice and mice in. Uh, they're squeaking and it's really ototoxic. It's interfering with her ability to pee and it's nephrotoxic. The whole experience makes her really weak, uh, causes neuromuscular blockade and she has to take a glass of milk or calcium to recover.